to offer grade 8 to grade 10 uh, learners. Uh, there has been no high square at all in this area and in 2016 grade 11 and grade 12 will also be phased in. This is something that's going to make a difference in the uh, people of this area but with me to talk us more about that is the chief of the area, uh, Chief Zoliveli Lemantla Mandela. Good morning and welcome to Morning Lives. Good morning Zim. Uh, how was it like not having any high school in the area? Well, uh, without uh, a high school in the area, we had serious challenges as the community of Mveso, where our youth used to uh, drop out of school at uh, grade 7, mainly because of not having a high school and they would not be able to pursue their careers further. You found that those that even went outside the area of Mveso and looked to Mtata and Tucho, we used to live outside the parental co uh, uh, control and they would be prone to teenage pregnancy and also be prone to uh, substance and alcohol abuse and they'd never complete their studies. So uh, we are grateful as a community that uh, Siemens saw fit that they should fund a state-of-the-art school here in Mveso. It will make a great difference to our community. This is not just a, a normal high school, it's a science and technology, a state-of-the-art building that's being uh, built here. How are you priding yourself as the community of this area? Well, uh, uh, with uh, us uh, focusing mainly on uh, uh, science and technology uh, uh, in the Mandela School of Science and Technology, we wanted to utilize uh, the uh, current and uh, state-of-the-art technologies like solar panels and the windmills that you see behind us uh, to be able to uh, uh, ensure that we produce energy not only for the school but for the surrounding communities around us. We want to also utilize the best technologies to find means and uh, ways of uh, creating a sustainable, vibrant community that ensures it is able to utilize uh, its lands. You see that uh, in Mveso we've got vast amounts of land and this is why we are introducing in our curriculum agriculture as a science so that we are able uh, to utilize the technology to better help our uh, youth to get involved into farming. Today's youth uh, regards farming as a, a, a not cool career to follow, but uh, with access to the latest technologies, I hope they'll be able to uh, uh, see it as one of uh, uh, the pursued uh, careers of choice. It's not only the school that is being built here. There's also a state-of-the-art a bridge that's connecting the N2. Uh, how is it going to change your lives as a people of Mveso? The, the access road and the Nkosi Talipunga Mandela Legacy Bridge that has been built by the Department of Rural Development and Land Reform, uh, working jointly with the presidency led by the ANC-led uh, government under President Jacob Zuma, is really uh, focusing on ensuring that uh, there's accessibility into our rural areas. They've put a paved road which uh, was uh, uh, labor-intensive to ensure that it gives opportunities opportunities of work to our people, uh, but the bridge has enabled and instilled dignity particularly to women in the community who had to cross the river naked, taking all their clothes and putting them in a bucket, ushered across the river by their uh, children and youth in the community. So this bridge upholds uh, women's dignity and ensures that our community will now be able to cross the river safely in visiting our neighboring communities. We uh, are grateful as a community that it will uh, uh, be the beginning of an access to the 21 villages that are surrounding Mveso. It is a strategic uh, road because you can access Elliot Dale, you can access um, Kanduli, also being able to access uh, the N2 from Kumo as well as uh, Kunu. So we are hoping that uh, people of this area will be able to benefit from jobs created through this uh, uh, bridge. Therefore, uh, we want to uh, compliment yet again our ANC-led government for the service delivery that we are seeing in this community. The whole nation is praying for Tatu Mandela as he lies in hospital. How is he? We've been grateful uh, to South Africans and the people of the global community who have showered the family with uh, uh, prayers and uh, uh, we are hoping that uh, my grandfather will uh, recover steadily. 
He is under good care, under uh, the supervision of nurses and doctors, which we've been grateful for their efforts in ensuring that uh, they are uh, at his bedside and attending to him. But uh, we are also grateful to the SANDF and our government uh, 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 that has uh, been through the presidency, has been up. Uh, updating uh, the masses and uh, people of South Africa and the global community with its updates. So uh, we are all uh, in prayer and hoping that uh, my grandfather will uh, get better, better steadily. Uh, thank you for speaking to us. Uh, the school is expected to be opened next year in January. It's now back to Johannesburg.